This is Cyhawk Game Day, sponsored by Nissan and Clear Choice of Des Moines. Welcome into Cyhawk Game Day. I'm Raina Garcia, joined by Jeff Woody. Uh, conference play began last week, and the, this is where things start to get real. Yeah, the season starts. You know, we don't know no matter which team you are, whether you're Alabama or whether you're the lowest ranked team in college football, you don't really know who you are coming out of, out of the non-conference play. So as soon as you get into that conference meat grinder where everybody knows everybody, everybody's familiar with everybody, that's when you get to find out who is really the good teams and the bad teams. Yeah, that's right. And Iowa State, uh, they had quite the uh, conference opener going up against the defending Big 12 champs in Baylor. So let's get into those highlights hosting Baylor. That's always good when you can uh, have this game at home. Uh, Hunter Deckers connects with Gyro Brock at the goal line for an Iowa State touchdown there. And in the second half, Baylor would be up three, but their run game was doing wonders for them in this game. Richard Reese uh, going to take the handoff here, runs 19 yards for the score. That would put Baylor, or Baylor would go up as much as 17 in this game. But Iowa State, you know, they would try to mount a comeback. Uh, some interesting plays here. This one in particular, Jairo Brock rushing for 37 yards for the touchdown. That ball comes out uh, right there, or excuse me, kind of at the goal line, but they, they give him the touchdown. Um, so a heads up play of getting possession back of that, but uh, unfortunately just not enough for Iowa State to, to come back and, and take down Baylor. They fall 31 to 24. Um, here's what Matt Campbell had to say. What's frustrating, you know, are there are, you know, that that little sequence, there's a sequence in the third quarter, we just kind of, man, we sputtered for whatever reason. And, you know, we'll have to go look back at that. You know, we were, again, we're playing in a little bit into their their hands because we're playing a game that's probably more conducive to their rhythm than ours. And, you know, the fact of the matter of it is, you know, you're playing catch up most of the day and that's hard. I definitely think that was one that we want back, uh, one that we think we should have had, um, but we can't really let it hold us back. Um, it's on to the next week at this point. Yeah, I think a big thing in this game, we talked a little bit about it on last week's Cyhawk game day, is making those mistakes that young teams make in terms of penalties. You could argue the ones in the first half maybe were kind of ticky-tack calls, but the second half penalties were also costly, um, and it caused them to really have to fight from behind. I mean, I imagine that's kind of what did them in in this game. Yeah, and this was the first time that a young team has played like a young team. You know, we've seen them, the the 99 yard drive against Iowa, and they kind of, you know, kicked the pants off the other two teams they played. So they haven't really had the chance to kind of have to form their game to match someone else's strengths. So one of the things that they, that Coach Campbell always talks about is the rhythm of the game. And he even mentioned that in that clip is, if you're gonna win the game 10 to seven, Play the game like you're going to win the game 10 to 7. If you have to go into a shootout and win the game 42 to 41, you're going to have to play that type of game. And Iowa State wasn't able to match the rhythm of the game like Baylor was. So, again, young teams are going to figure out how to do that and how to respond from those bad penalties. But they just weren't able to do that. So do I feel worse necessarily about the Iowa State football team? I don't. If Baylor's a really good team and you lost by 7 at home in the first conference game of the year, they're going to be fine. It's just a tough loss to start the season. Yeah, and against a team like Baylor, uh, we saw the offense kind of stall in that third quarter. And against a team, like I said, like Baylor, who is kind of a well-oiled machine, not that they don't make their mistakes, but you, you can't have a moment where your offense is not moving, and that's kind of what we saw in this game. Yeah, I jokingly said last week that, like, Baylor's offense is the offense that Iowa wants to be. You know, it's their efficient passing game. Uh, they're not really going to throw it all over the yard. They're not going to sling it 5,000 times in a game. They're just going to run for 200 yards, and they're going to keep the ball for forever. Ever. And they had no turnovers. There was nothing to give Iowa State a chance to get back in that game. So Iowa State would have had to take that game as opposed to having it given back to them. So, yeah, they're going to have to go through that. And, and especially walking into a, another really good offense that they're playing against against Kansas. Kansas' defense isn't quite Baylor's defense, but Kansas' offense is really good. So they have another challenge coming up that they're going to have to stand up to coming out of this the, the week one conference loss against Baylor. Yeah, and I think it really says something about this team that even though all of the mental mistakes, kind of the the woes on offense in the third quarter, they still they could have won this game. You heard Dimitri Stanley say it. We felt like we let this one slip away. So I think there is, are some encouraging things coming out of this game. Obviously, you want to come out with a win, but uh, Baylor's a tough team. So uh, not, not a bad loss. No loss is good, but that wasn't a bad one. Well, we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we'll recap Iowa's win over Rutgers in the conference opener. So keep it right here on Cyhawk Game Day.